Morning everybody, hope you got your uh, brain juice going. I got mine right here and uh, beard mustache on point as usual and I hope that you are surviving the apocalypse, pandemic, whatever, hunkering down, got plenty of food and everything's going well for you. Uh, I uh, got this uh, new property here and uh, I got cuts on some trees and uh, you know provide some heat uh, for, for the fam. So uh, I decided I'm gonna need a chainsaw and I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one and I uh, got a lot of flack from people, some friends and whatnot, who said, "Oh, you, you know, you should have bought a gas one. I can't believe you bought an electric one. Uh, you know, what were you thinking? This is a complete, you know, just they they can't cut anything. There's no power, etc." So I figured I would uh, uh, give you my two cents on it. Figure out, give you why I decided to purchase this one as opposed to a gas one, and uh, we'll we'll run it through a couple of pretty sizable logs that I've been that I've been doing. You can time it and you can kind of see how she runs, okay? So uh, let's do a little bit of that. And if you haven't already, you know, uh, you hit the button on the bottom, the subscribe button, that would be really cool. You know, kind of encourages me to keep doing these reviews because I've got a fair amount of extra, uh, you know, Makitas here and extra other tools that I've got coming into the shop here that uh, I could do some reviews on too. So if you like this sort of stuff, you know, hey, you know, just help me out, hit that button, that would be great. If not, eh, see you next time. And uh, to the guy earlier who said, oh, you don't deserve your tools because you, you beat on them. You don't deserve nice things. Well, welcome back to you. And uh, no, I'm going to beat on my tools all I want. They're mine. They're not yours. I can do whatever I want. So this is the Makita. This is the X, uh, let's see, XC. Let me see get that in frame there. XCU09. That is the, the, the one that I purchased. Now, there are several kinds of this uh, particular one, so make sure you're getting the right one. Now, uh, this particular one is a 16 inch blade uh, all the way down here. I'm just get her in frame there. So, 16 inch blade, two batteries uh, in the back come right here. Uh, I, it comes with uh, two 5 amp guys like these, these two uh, 5 amp batteries and one of their big beefy chargers. And one of the reviews before I purchased it said, this thing eats batteries like nobody's business. And they were not kidding. These things go through batteries like crazy. So if you've got some of these leftover five uh, amp jobs, make sure you put them in the charger. I've got two dual chargers going all at all times when I'm running this thing because it, uh, it does go through batteries uh, pretty quick. But that doesn't mean it doesn't work. And uh, I did some research beforehand and I've worked with the small tools before. I worked with the small uh, chainsaws and that sort of thing, especially the gas ones. And I can't tell you how many spark plugs or little, little, little mini carburetors or all that, you know, just, uh, just all that stuff tends to get in the way. It's, they're, they're lousy, they're loud, they need a lot of support, they need a lot of oil, they need uh, gas at all times. They're just kind of a pain in the butt to make sure they're working right and they take a lot of maintenance to get to working properly. And I thought I'd give this a shot because I, uh, for many, many years, was anti-cordless tool. Okay, I was very anti-cordless tool. And uh, once the 18 volt jobber started coming around, I got another one over here. Uh, one of the, these little uh, uh, 18 volt guys started coming around, noticing they were doing pretty good stuff and they got decent power, decent life to them. They didn't have to carry around a cord and didn't have to, uh, you know, uh, hook it up to an air gun or anything like that and keep that oiled. And so the maintenance is, is, is pretty low. Now the maintenance on this one is also pretty low. So there's a bunch of benefits to why I chose this as opposed to a gas one. The, ga one, the gas ones are you know, loud and noisy and you need ear protection and they're finicky and uh, you need you know, lots of stuff that goes with it. This, you just need to keep feeding it batteries and you're fine. Now, people have said, well, you know, Eric, what about you know, in the apocalypse, you know, you're, you're not going to have electricity, so you're not going to have batteries. Well, here's the deal. In an apocalypse, you ain't going to have gasoline either, so that gasoline is going to go away, which is why you go back to the old analog, which is why I have axes and, and uh, picks and a bunch of other tools too. So as long as i got electricity, I might as well use it. Okay, now am I a professional logger? No. Am I cutting, you know, huge, you know, you know, you know, 30 inch trees? No. Could it do it? Eh, if you do it right, I'm probably sure it could. So, that said, I'm just a home gamer and I just do this every once in a while. And I cut down a tree, I don't know, once a month or so. So this is just fine for what I'm doing. Let me run you through it though. And I'll show you some of the stuff that, uh, let me zoom in here a little bit and show you some of the features, okay? So, standard, okay, chainsaw sh shape, 
you're very familiar with. Batteries go in the back here, just like nya. Okay, pretty simple. Okay, and on the back you have a battery meter. You push the little button and it shows you all that stuff. If you want to focus, there you go. There you go. Okay, beyond that, you've got your safety trigger. So if that is not depressed, the chainsaw will not work. Okay, you push the button once up top as long as it wants to focus. There we go. Now the bat, now it is on. Okay, simple operation. Hold the safety down. Works just fine. Okay, you turn it off, and you want to hold it right here for a couple seconds. And what it does is gives you two lights. So the difference between this chainsaw and your standard one, that uh, how you can tell is the the one with the dual power guy has the batteries in the back. And the ones, the standard chainsaw with just the regular power has two batteries on each side kind of going in this way. So that's the difference, okay? We'll zoom back out. i show you some things here, okay? So again, standard chainsaw procedure. You have up here, I'm gonna turn, go ahead and turn that off, okay? So it doesn't go off on me. You have on this side, right? Your oil feed, okay? So you have to fill this with oil. It comes with oil, a little starter pack of oil, no big deal, okay? You also have up top here how much oil gets fed to the machine itself while it's running. That's on this side. And nothing really of note on this side other than you've got your, your chain brake here. Okay, pretty standard. Again, if you know how to operate a chainsaw, you know how to operate this thing. Okay. This side, again, standard procedure. You've got your cover, you've got your, your, uh, your blade, and you've got your, your chain, and now this is, this is uh, tensioned properly to where it says it just barely wants to pull down. Let's go ahead and open her up and you can see the mechanism. If, again, if you're familiar with chainsaws, this is not going to be anything surprising to you. It looks just like a regular chainsaw. Now, uh, I will say as I'm doing this, one of the nice things I like about this is that the electricity the, the, the pixies going from your batteries to your, your uh, magic maker then to your, your shaft here makes things pretty darn easy, okay? Uh, you don't need hearing protection. That's the cool thing. It's quiet. It's a heck, it's really, really quiet. So I got a decibel meter. It's not a fancy one, but we'll give it a shot anyway. So anyway, if you're familiar with any chainsaw and how they operate, this is gonna be very familiar to you. Works just fine, works off your, your propeller there, and then you've got you know your adjustment you know, pin here, plus your, your main shaft there. Again, this is not rocket science, okay? If you're familiar with chainsaws, that's how these work. No big deal, okay? So let me put this cover back on, and then I'm gonna show you how quiet this actually is, okay? All right, so I've got the, uh, the El Cheapo meter here, and pretty standard, about 75, 80 decibels is conversation level. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna put this down on the table. And we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna run her up and see how we do, okay? So let's zoom in here. Let's, let's, let's see how, how many we get up to, right? Oh, that's too, here we go. Here we go. What did we get? We got a max, let's see. Zoom in, focus, focus, there we go. So we had a max of 84, uh, is, it, is it perfect? Is this, you know, 100% accurate? But it's this conversation level. You can have a conversation over this thing. This thing is not that loud, okay? So you do not technically need hearing protection uh, based on the decibel levels, but you should have it anyway, just, you know, just, just for, you know, safety and all that good jazz. You know, wear your gloves, wear your glasses. Um, you know, the family learned that the hard way yesterday. If, you've, if, you have, uh, if you have glasses, wear them at all times. You never know what's going to happen. So you don't need hearing protection technically because it doesn't hit that, you know, threshold where it's going to hurt you, but probably still should do it. So uh, you've, that's the quick rundown of it. Let's go chop some logs. All right, so what we have is about a 10-inch log, birch, uh, fairly 
fairly good. So time me. I'll make a couple cuts, and uh, I don't know. You be the judge. One final one, the double power mode. Here we go. Decent cut for a chainsaw. All right, there you have it. Lots of pluses and minuses with this. Don't get me wrong. Uh, is it going to have as much power as a as a gas-driven one? Probably not. Do I do this every day? No. But that said, look, if you're looking for something around the house that's going to take down a couple trees, you know, once a month or so, this is fine. This will work totally fine. Is it, you know, it's a lot less maintenance than your gas powered guys. Cuts right through that uh, about, uh, that was a 10 or 12 inch log that you saw there. Um, I can't tell the difference between the number one and number two setting uh, as far as the extra power thing goes. Uh, but it does, it does feel like it cuts a little bit uh, harder uh, for whatever that's worth. I put out a couple cuts there and we're still at three bars all the way through. So it does eat batteries, but I am still at uh, right there, so lots of pluses and minuses. No hearing protection, not a lot of futzing around, okay? Not a lot of uh, maintenance as far as that's concerned because it's electric motor. You do eat a lot of batteries though, so for whatever that's worth. So anyway, thanks for looking, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one. Enjoy the pandemic, stay, stay hunkered down, and uh, good luck to you.